afternoon matchup. The Edmonton Eskimos, Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Winnipeg quarterback Steve Giles, an injury to Buck Pierce means he is in. Head coach and defensive coordinator Richie Hall at 0-3 start. Blue Bombers get set to kick it off. Alexis Cerna with the kick. Gray looking over the top, pressure again. Fell by himself and then is brought down. That was one of the easier sacks for Odell Willis. Second and 12. Pressure again and Ray's hammer picked off and going to the end zone. The Bombers score and it's smoked on Hopkins. Well, the pressure is absolutely killing Ricky Ray and the Edmonton Eskimos right now. The Blue Bombers are controlling. Stephen Giles. Instant field position thanks to the return by Donald Brown. Fred Reed rumbles. Reed inside the 35. Fred Reed cuts back down near the 15 yard line. First and goal now from inside the five yard line. Reed, Mike Byer, touchdown. He could have walked over that goal line. Okay, let him go! Let him go! Fields it at the midfield strike. Johnson, head down, batters forward. Giles in pursuit. Dodges one and throws it and the catch is made. Terrence, Jeffers Harris will take it to the house. Touchdown! What a play! How in the world did that get to the end zone? Steven Giles looked like he had been caught. And Terrence Jeffers Harris has his third touchdown of the season. And the tip drill, Fred Stamps has it. A great block, and Stamps will run to the 15-yard line, and that ball ended up in Fred Stamps' hands when it looked like it might have been picked off by Winnipeg. If they can find the end zone, could be the final play before halftime. Gray to the end zone, it's a touchdown. Finally, the Edmonton Eskimos show some life. Deep drop for Giles, and picked off. Javier Glatt with a huge interception early in this third quarter, and the Eskimos could not have written this up any better early on here in the second half. This makes it a different ball game if they can find the end zone. The shovel, they will. Calvin McCarty scores. Don't go anywhere. Ray drops back this time. Sideline picked off. Look out. LeVar Glover has the interception and almost had six. Second and goal. Play action. Steven Giles time. Touchdown. Nobody's got contained as Steven Giles runs around the edge. Game that was led early by the defense. Ferocious defense. Giles tucks it, takes it. Out at the one yard line. Not afraid to take off with that football. Steven Giles again. It's a touchdown. That should do it for the Blue Bombers. In Edmonton, a different story. Javon Johnson dancing. On the sideline, tight ropes now. Javon Johnson, will he go? Yes, he will. Touchdown. 82 yards. Well, Javon Johnson, who had a 118-yard missed field goal return against the Edmonton Eskimos last year, 
has done it to them again. Once you run 82 plus yeah, yards. Yeah, you need a hand. Yeah. Three nothing lead. Once again, Jason Barnes. Barnes down to the 10 yard line. A minute 50 to go, so the Eskimos try to break this horrible drought of fourth quarter inability to punch it into the end zone. Second and goal. Archie Whitlock will score and but Eskimos and their fans take little solace in that. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers blow out the Edmonton Eskimos. 47-21. Even their record at 2-2. Two